So it's Cottle's verdict. Everything checks out. So I'm me, not a Cylon. That is why you had me tested, right? Kara, nobody said you were a Cylon. But you were thinking it. We had to be sure, Kara. Fair enough. Let's go through it again. How many times do you want to hear it? As many times as it takes to make sense. I followed a heavy raider into the storm, took some hits, passed out. When I came to, I was orbiting this planet. Its yellow moon and star matches the description in Pythia. I took these pictures in orbit. The star patterns match what we saw in the tomb of Athena. How did you get here? I told you I don't know exactly. Well, that's just not good enough, Captain. Tell us everything you remember. I remember taking the photos, turning my ship in a reciprocal heading. And then I'm not sure. I must have blacked out again. I remember a giant gas planet with rings. I remember a flashing triple star and a comet. And then I was back with the fleet. And for you, all of this took six hours. I do not understand the time discrepancy either, okay? All I know is I was there. I took the pictures. I didn't imagine it. I had my crew clean it up. There's not a ding or a scratch on it. It's got the same tail number as the one she flew out on. But I've been fixing up that old bird since day one, and this thing looks like it's been rolled off the showroom floor. So it's not the same ship? Unless you found a hell of a body shop out there, no ma'am, it's not. Admiral, it's just not the outside either. This is the data from the nav computer. There isn't any. It's blank. There's no record of where this ship has been. OK. Put her in the brig. What? So some things don't add up and we're back to thinking she's a Cylon? What about Cottle's test? Cottle's test doesn't prove anything. Even if her DNA is the same, she could still be a Cylon. She could have been one from the beginning. Baltar's Cylon detector was a crock. It failed to ID Boomer. I know how you feel about her, Bill, but that is exactly what the Cylons could be counting on here. We're back where we started from. It could be silence right here. We wouldn't know until they put a bullet in our heads. Our last into an ambush. That Cylon fleet had enough firepower to blow us out of the sky, but instead they ran and jumped. And there's Carathrace suddenly back from the dead, having found Earth. If Carathrace can lead us off our course. Course? What course? The nebula was supposed to be another clue on the way to Earth, but it. The nebula is only a road sign along the way to Earth, and we need to continue to follow its path. Well, what if Kara is the clue that we were supposed to find? And what if she's playing you? What if she's playing you and all of us? 